over two decades, my next guest, R&B superstar Maya, has pushed the boundaries of how women are represented in the music industry. The Grammy winner rose to starting with hits like Lady Marmalade and Ghetto Superstar, carving out a path defined by her fierce independence and unstoppable talent, a true multi-hyphenate. The singer, songwriter, producer, dancer, and actor is now bringing us some holiday cheer, starring in a new Lifetime movie. It's called My Favorite Christmas Melody. You guys sound really good, but I can tell that you're trying so hard to make everything perfect that you're not really feeling the music. Well, there's nothing wrong with perfection, right? Well, the audience won't notice technique, but they will notice if the music makes them feel something. But uh, proper technique is important, too. You need to have a solid understanding of the fundamentals of music if you're going to be any good at it. Sure, but if you get bogged down with too much of that stuff, it's going to feel like school. <laughs> well, this is school. Fan, fan, please give it up for Maya. She joins us from Houston, Texas. Hi! Yay! Welcome! Hi! How are you? Oh, my God. Listen, you have an unforgettable smile. I think it's one of the most recognizable, beautiful smiles in all of the industry. Congratulations on this film. This is so sweet. So character, Maya, the songwriter loses her passion for music only to find her voice again when she returns home. And that really spoke to your own personal journey. It sure did. And I think where I relate is where you know, sometimes you get lost in the sauce, but when you return back home to your roots, you ultimately find why you started in the first place, alongside being surrounded by all the love yeah. and the reasons that you got into what you love so dearly, like music, for me. Yeah, it's true. I mean, you've also been very open and honest about the industry and how you can lose your independence. You're in a studio and someone's telling you to wear this, sound like this, do this. And now you're an independent artist because you lost some of that freedom under those big labels. What was that like for you, especially now? What was it? I couldn't believe you just dropped eight singles and you've been on the road touring, you got the movie. So you're busier than ever because you found that independence. The independent journey has just been amazingly rewarding because I've worn many different hats, learned skill sets that I, as a recording artist, never knew I would be doing, you know, drafting contracts and taking care of all the paperwork, which is completely boring, I'm sure it sounds. <laughs> but um, it's necessary to yeah. protect yourself and to avoid mishaps. But that's a part of it. That's a part of owning your identity, owning your brand, and owning who you are is learning where the dollars and cents are made so they don't take your dollars. I understand that. Um, this music video you have, The Truth, depicts you marrying yourself. The internet blew up. They thought Maya had gotten married. There were rumors all over the place. And you said, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. This video is about me actually marrying myself. You put a ring on yourself. What was that about? What, what, where did that come from? It was a spiritual thing that actually really happened in real life. When I wrote the song with uh, another counterpart of mine, we wrote it to self, but I'd never brought a visual to life. And I decided to do that uh, last Valentine's Day because a lot of people feel alone, yeah. you know, when they're looking at the man-made holidays and how people yeah. celebrate and what it's, you know, come to uh, be understood as. But... It's very, very important to take care of yourself, especially if you're a nurturer and like to take care of so many other people prior I to taking that. care of yourself. And women also have a habit of doing that. <laughs> no, but I love that you said, I'm not lost. I'm going to tell you exactly who I am. And it's a person who's able to marry themselves. I am, though, curious. When you marry yourself, do people still give you gifts? <laughs> like, did you register? Uh, yeah, there are all <laughs> kinds of lines. <laughs> you know, but... I did buy a ring for myself. Okay. This is not that ring. Yeah. You know, because if a guy comes up to you and hits on you in public, you it's it's hard to turn someone down and and not have some repercussions sometimes or have them take it personal. And I don't like, you know, hurting feelings. Okay, so you wear a ring way. and you say, I am married. They say to whom you say myself. Ta-da. No, I don't say it to myself. I oh. don't say that. <laughs> Hey, I'm okay, Maya, crazy. I have this all fantasized very differently. I'm like, what, what a way to shut someone down. I'm married to myself and walk away. Well, no. listen, I am no. so happy to watch your evolution and that you never lost your very special and unique voice. That's why fans adore you and they have adored you for so many years. Congratulations on everything, Maya. Uh, I yeah, absolutely. <laughs>
it's such Sweet. a pleasure to be here, connected with you. I'm a fan. Oh, you're amazing. Thank you. We appreciate it. We love having you on the Tam Fam. Next time you're in New York, come on in in studio. We'd love to have you. Yeah.